Hi guys, welcome back to this channel. I'm Vincent Liu, and today I'm going to teach you guys what is perpetual inverse, right? Inverse perpetual, right? So to look at inverse perpetual, all you have to do is uh, click on this derivative and scroll down inverse perpetual. So if you look at the description here, right, from the inverse perpetual, it says trade perpetual contracts settle in coin. So technically, if you watch the USDT perpetual, right, you know USDT perpetual, they use USDT, but inverse perpetual, they use coin, right? Where do you get the coin? Right? All this coin right here, as you can see, they use BTC, ETH, uh, EOS, and XRP and so on. So basically, this coin, you need to purchase it from sports market, right? After you purchase in the sports, right? You bought them, you have some BTC, and then use the BTC to play the perpetual contracts. You, you get what I mean? So instead of USDT, where the, where the value of USDT is always fixed, BTC always goes up and down depending on the price, right? The price action of that day, right? If you were to use right, BTC to trade, right? To trade a lot of perpetual contracts in BTC itself, right? Actually, it can have a double effect or triple effect, something like that. For example, if you, okay, for example, if you were to trade BTC inverse perpetual, right? You want to trade BTC inverse perpetual using BTC, and you want to trade in BTC, right? So, for example, you want to long, right? Uh, you want you assume your you long a BTC the price now at one hundred K, right? This assumption. And then the price moves from 100k to 110k, right? Means that you earn 10% of BTC, right? Then the market of the BTC gained in value of 10%, right? The BTC coin that you used to trade also gained in value. So in the perpetual contracts, you gain 10% of BTC, and then again, the BTC value gains 10%. So in total, you gain 20% right, of your earning, right? That's that's the concept of inverse perpetual, right? Instead of using USDT, you use the coin itself to trade a contract, right? To trade the perpetual contract, right? Short, if you short it, it's the other way around, obviously. But but in this case, right, if you were to short, right, uh, but the price were to go up, right? let's say you want to short it, but the price goes up, you lose 10%, right? You lose 10% of your BTC coin because you, you lost, right? You pay 10% of BTC. But the BTC value gains 10%. So the total, you, you have no win and no loss. Right, you get what I mean? So there's BTC inverse perpetual. Right, if you were to use the same coin, the same coin to trade on the same coin in the inverse perpetual, right, these are effects that it will give. Right, depending on the long and short. Right, obviously in the perpetual contracts, you can, you can play leverage. Right, you can play leverage. So if you were to leverage two to X, for example, right, if you long one hundred to one hundred and ten k, right, earning twenty percent because you use leverage, and the BTC value gain ten percent, in total you earn forty percent, right, because you use leverage, right, you gain more BTC, and the more BTC together with the original BTC gains in value, right, so it goes to forty percent, and if you short it, right, I you have times two leverage again. And then you short it, but the price goes up, you lose 10%, right? You lose 10%, uh, the gain value 10%, then you total loss 30%, right? This is how inverse perpetual works. So normally, people will use inverse perpetual to, you know, to long, right? Because it has a better effect and better chance of earning, right? So you buy spot BTC, right? You buy it and then you long it, right? If it were to increase the value of coin and increase the long were to, you know, because it's increased, long also increased, which you earn, which means you profit, you get double, you know, double the effect. But obviously, if it goes the other way around, obviously you lose even more. All right. So let's go and see the interface in by bit. For you to press inverse perpetual, all you have to do is here, click inverse perpetual. And right now, right, you can use BTC, right, to trade perpetual contracts on BTC itself, 
right? right now I don't have any VTC, but it works exactly the same way as perpetual contracts, as in you just type in the amount uh, the, or the price, right? The limit price that you want. Let's say I want to long it when Bitcoin is at this price, right? At 54K. Let's say I want to uh, trade like 10 BTC for uh, 10 USD, like this a uh, order of uh, order by quantity in terms of USD, right? So depends on how much US uh, BTC you have, you can trade and then you can open long or short because right now I don't have any BTC in the spot, right? I didn't buy any BTC in the spot, so I can't trade. But overall, the effects is the same, right? In the perpetual contracts, it's just that instead of using USDT, you're using BTC, all right? For, for instance, if you want to, if you own other coins, right? If you own other coins, let's say you own ETH. Right, if you own ETH, you can use ETH to trade ETH, obviously, or you wanna use it on Bitcoin, right? Then you can use Bitcoin to trade Bitcoin, or you wanna use it on Solana, I use Solana to trade Solana, vice versa. So this is how you use perpetual contracts. Everything works exactly the same as B, uh, USD, USDT perpetual contracts. So if you haven't watched the USDT perpetual contracts, you can click on the link here and then just go and view how it works. It works exactly the same. So there you have it. This is why it's called inverse perpetual. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.